there are cases where this is the difference between somebody losing a limb or, or you know, getting to keep it and, and living a normal life. Rex hyperbaric technician Sally Baker guides Richard Rakowski into the only hyperbaric chambers in Wake County, here in the Wound Healing Center at Rex Hospital, with a diabetes-related sore on his foot that refused to heal and loss of sensation, Rakowski faced certain amputation. The neuropathy coupled with the poor circulation can lead to these chronic non-healing wounds. By the time he got to us, that wound had come up through his foot. So even though it started on the bottom of his foot, it had risen all the way to the top surface. He's one of those patients who had an amputation recommended from, from another physician. Vascular surgeons with Carolina Vascular stepped in, revascularized his leg, and directed his hyperbaric treatments. And we fill the chamber up with 100% oxygen, so there's no gas in there but oxygen and we pressurize it so it's the equivalent of being 33 feet underwater. And we can get them in here, increase the oxygen to the tissues, and get them healed up and, and back out to living normal lives. His wound is almost healed, so he's coming in once a week just to get checked on. Before Mr. Rakowski came to us here, he had actually had another physician recommend to him that he have a below the knee amputation. Um, we've healed up his wound and he now is gonna get to keep that leg. He was actually building a deck for his sister the past couple of weeks.